In today's episode, we'll be talking about the Steampunk Collection. We'll also be answering questions and announcing an eSports event. Hello, Tankers! The Tankers Day celebration is in full swing. During the first week, you have already opened more than 300,000 Ultra Containers, and there are 70 players who already have the complete collection. Let us remind you that starting from the 10th till 12th of September, matchmaking battle duration will be increased to 12 minutes, and the Steampunk skins will remain only in Ultra Containers. Next up, after the break, the Blitz Q&A session. not miss the opportunity to add the unique steampunk styled collection of skins to your garage. The only way to get it is to open ultra containers. You may never have such a chances now in the future. It doesn't matter what ultra skins your opponents have. When your tank is equipped with a brand new limited edition of the steampunk skins and you feel like a boss. Can you speed the lock-on of Gauss snipping mode up? It's really annoying when I lock onto someone and then it randomly locks onto a different person. That's not a bug. In one of the updates, we have decreased the time allowed to hold the target when the target is not in sight. If you do not carefully study the behavior of the turret, then this feature is perceived as a random change of target. But that's not true. This is no random change. You just need to choose targets that won't hide while you're aiming. I hear that in-game items from the Russian shop are much cheaper than the same items from other country shops. If it's true, then why did you devs make it like that? Wouldn't you benefit more if the Russian shop prices were equal to that of the rest of the countries? Tankoin prices really differ depending on what currency you use. And sometimes the difference is huge. This is due to the fact that the purchasing power differs as well. We are working to ensure that prices in each currency are optimal. We're maximizing the result of multiplying the number of orders by the average order value. Of course, we try to increase prices for weak currencies, but it affected the revenue in negative ways. To help us to choose optimal prices, we have recently added a limit on changing payment country. Players who were buying tank coins by converting a strong currency into a weak currency were negatively affecting the purchasing power of the weak currency. For their own gain, they were unfairly increasing optimal prices for players who use weak currencies. If you're upgrading a module and it's on the last step and you rank, will that upgrade carry on? Will it automatically give you the next MK, cancelling the upgrading process, or will it stop upgrading and you will have to purchase the next MK for crystals? The upgrading will finish when the time comes, and the player will have a fully upgraded old modification. You always have to buy a new one. But in case you have a fully upgraded item and you rank up and unlock the next modification, you get a 100% discount on the new modification. Why do you have automatic self-destruction when the tank is on its side? This can be very annoying and we should have an option to turn it off. There's an option to disable auto self-destruction on the first page of settings. You already can disable it. We have added this feature because new players didn't know what to do in such a situation. Almost nobody was reading about self-destruction in the tutorial for new players. We've decided that auto self-destruction will be the best option. Matchmaking system considers players' GS values. However, many players who have legend rank have weak equipment and it's not fun to play with such teammates. Can you please make the system consider the number of hours spent in the game? For example, only experienced players will be fighting against experienced players and there will be no such situations when Legend 1 is playing against Legend 300. We already have an option for the MM system to consider if it's Legend 1 or Legend 300, but we have disabled it, as we have been receiving a lot of feedback about the long waiting time. Making it consider even Legend 2 as a separate rank leads to such a major increase in waiting time for high ranks that many players were complaining about it. What motivated you to take off the skin container from the challenge rewards? We try to choose the most interesting format of challenges for players. Old skins are not a valid reason to complete a challenge anymore, and we started to search for a replacement. The first option was new skins. It takes too much time to create an HD quality skin, so we cannot add one every two weeks. Moreover, we tried to increase the Battle Pass price to see how players will react and got negative feedback about it from you. 
After the end of this experiment, we decided that it would be better to make it cheaper. Maybe even cheaper than ever before. For such a battle pass, skins are too expensive prizes. Now we're working on a new kind of prize that will only be available from challenge prizes. Esports news. Tanky Sport 2021 Season 3 is entering the home stretch. After weeks of battles through the qualifying matches, four teams proceeded to the finals. While they will be competing for the title of Season 3 winner, you can participate in two events held in conjunction with the tournament. Take part in Tanky Fund and vote for the best teams. Tanky Fund is quite the same as the one we had at Tanky Birthday. You can get one of the special offers in the shop. Each of them consists of a clan paint and 15 containers. By doing this, you will add some amount of tank coins to the fund, which we will give away during the live stream that will be held on September 29th. Participants will receive equal shares of the fund, and some of you will be able to become a real tank coin rich man in an instant. The second event is about voting. Enter the special website on the day of each match and vote for one of two teams. There will be six matches. And if in at least three out of six matches a team you vote for wins, you will get containers. Go straight to the event announcement and read the rules of these events. The link is in the description. Tanky Ada is coming, the event that will impress anyone who participates in it. Our helpers have prepared a special video about the rules of this event. Watch it to find out more about the event and check the announcement. All the links are in the description. Welcome back to YouTuber Digest, our weekly selection of the best TO videos created by players. Last week was proactive for our YouTubers, as a lot of content has been released. Let's start with Quirky's video about the recently released Steampunk skin. His creator tag is Quirky. Choose it in the settings if you would like to support him. Did you play in the Hopper Railgun mode last weekend? If not, you missed a lot of gold boxes. Watch how Jumper caught many of them. His creator tag is Jumper. If you like his video, Make sure to subscribe to his channel and choose his creator tag in the settings. Last time, you had to guess which hull would be destroyed first. The correct answer was D. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question. That's all for this week. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media. It is worth it to hit the thumbs up button. See you in a week. Bye.